Cypress Learning, and welcome to our Thursday Tips and Tricks. This week, I want to talk about Pardot snippets. With putting the same type of messaging on various emails or landing pages, it can become redundant to copy and paste that content all over your marketing automation assets. But what if the content changes after a certain amount of time? Like updating dates on a recurring event, maybe like a webinar? Well, naturally, you get to copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste all over your drip emails and landing pages right? Wrong. That's where Pardot snippets come into play. So let's dive into Pardot and show you how to create a snippet in just five easy steps and apply it to an email template. So here we are in Pardot in the content snippets tab. So we'll navigate over to new, put a name to our snippet, click in the API name. It will auto populate. Select the type. I'm going to select text for this example. Now the value is where you'll put the content that will be a reoccurring um, message within all of your marketing automation assets. And then it's best practice to keep a description so that it reminds yourself later what you're using the snippet for. And then click save. Now you want to associate your snippet with a campaign. So let's navigate over to campaigns and click on best campaign ever. Here we'll go down to the snippet assignments and click new. You'll associate your snippet with the best campaign ever. So search in here and associate it. So what this means is that anytime you build a landing page or email, if it's associated with this campaign, you will be able to use the demo snippet. If it's associated with other campaigns, the snippet won't be available for you. Now click save. And now you've associated your snippet with your campaign. So let's go test this out and put it into an email. So go to Pardot email, and then click on a template or apply a new template um, to a list email and click edit template. So let's go into the basic info. So as you can see, I've already associated this template with the best campaign ever, the same campaign that I associated the snippet with. So click save. One thing to keep in mind with snippets, it does take a few minutes for it to actually render and be associated with the campaign. So it's best practice just to wait a little bit before you actually insert your snippet. So for the sake of time, I'll use a snippet that I've already created and associated with this campaign. So snippet testing, click insert. So all of your snippets will be in the merge fields. Now let's check out what our snippet looks like. Going over to the preview tab, select a prospect and you can see your snippet there. So there you have it. We've tested out our snippet and you've inserted it. Have a great time creating snippets and let us know what you think.